at the come on live breaking news Susie Wolf has dropped one but not long after Mohammed Ben Salim has been exonerated it feels like exonerated is the term of the day as far as F1's concerned and and that that's where it gets techy just finished filming you know I should be in bed it's 1 30 or 12 30 in the night GMT but we have to talk about this so look and you need to read these two statements in tandem because it's important. Susie Wolf has done something that's God tier, in my humble opinion, that she's mirrored the terminology, the phrasing that the FIA have used just to call them out on their hypocrisy. So this is what this is the FIA statement as they exonerate Mohammed Ben Sulaim of any wrongdoing. I'm whispering because I don't want to wake up my missus and get divorced. Here we go. After reviewing the results of the inquiries, the ethics committee says the FIA statement were unanimous in their determination that there was no evidence to substantiate allegations of interference of any kind involving the FIA president Mohammed Ben Sulaim. And again, the context of this two fronts, right? Two counts. So the investigation first was on the back of the Fernando Alonso incident. Again, remember, he got a five second penalty Saudi Arabian Grand Prix last year, not being in his box properly. And then when he served that five second penalty, penalty in the pits they touched his car didn't they and remember you're not allowed the rules and regs state that you're not allowed to touch the car before the five second penalty has been spent has been served they touched it Alonso got a 10 second grid, grid place penalty or 10 second pit penalty I always forget the nomenclature too late Cameron can't even talk <laughs> Got a 10 second play, 10 second penalty. And again, that took him further down the grid, didn't it? I think he finished third, something like that. George Russell was promoted, but then they reversed it. He was accused was Mohammed Ben Sulaim, head of the FIA of interfering again. The responses involved, the Ramco being Saudi Arabian oil company, and they're the title sponsor of Aston Martin. The rumour is that Mohammed Ben Sulaim is somehow involved in that and wanted, wanted the title sponsor to get their they'll just do whatever <laughs> potentially he got involved potentially not this is all rumor and speculation as always with the weird and wacky world of f1 on the second count Mohammed ben salam was accused by coercion of trying to get the race inspectors at the las vegas grand prix to declare that the track wasn't fit for purpose that they couldn't race around it and that to me is bonkers because how 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 much more diametrically opposed can the FIA be as versus the FOM, the commercial rights holder? The FIA are meant to be a procurer of a service here. So why are they always doing one of these? It doesn't make any sense, but I'm not going to get, that's a kind of a conversation for another day and I'm not going to get into that now. I continue with this statement. It added, the allegations against FIA president were unsubstantiated and strong evidence beyond any reasonable doubt was presented to support the determination of the FIA ethics committee. So here, look, here's where I want you to remember beyond any reasonable doubt. These are legal terms that we're talking now. Again, hold on to that because we're going to get onto Susie Ball's statement in a minute. The president's complete cooperation, transparency and compliance throughout the process during the investigation was greatly appreciated. Let's fast forward now. Listen, you guys coming on at, at bloody 12.40 in the morning. You guys are absolute legends, but I had to get this one out of the way. You guys hear me talking low so that my missus doesn't wake up and give me the and divorce papers served and all that. Go on, let's get to Susie Ball's statement. And again, all right, table setting and context. You guys remember there's a publication called Business F1 or F1 Business, a very dodgy duplicate. It's not, it's, it's dodgy. It's like daily, it makes the Daily Mail look like Bleak House. It's, it's not the thing. But anyway, they ran an article talking about a potential conflict of interest that Susie Wolf was taking away secrets from her role as FI, head of FIA Academy, so the women's series, and potentially having conversation with Toto Wolf, and then Toto had relayed something back at a team principals press conference or a team principals meeting. 
that he potentially shouldn't have known. So this publication made those claims, which of course are unsubstantiated. Uh, we can talk about the conflict of interest. Of course, there could be a conflict of interest uh, arising from Susie and Toto's relation. Of course, there could be. But to say it and then not have evidence is, is, do you know what I mean? And then furthermore, for the FIA to read that publication, to hear those unsubstantiated allegations and start talking about it's going to investigate. Meanwhile, remember, Christian Horner's thing's been going on for weeks, if not months now, and they still haven't investigated it. Like, do you know what I mean? Inconsistency. Any Anyway, here, here's Susie coming in now hot. I can confirm, says Susie Wolf, that I personally filed a criminal complaint in the French courts on the 4th of March in relation to the statements made about me by the FIA last December. The statements that the FIA made were that they were going to investigate these claims about a conflict of interest between Susie and her husband, a team principal of Mercedes, Toto Wolf. There has still not been any transparency, transparency, is it a word in what she's using? Transparency or accountability in relation to the conduct of the FIA and its personnel in this matter. Let's go, Susie Wolf. I feel more than ever it is important to stand up, call out improper behaviour. You see that improper behaviour. What did they say? They said that he hasn't acted improperly. You see how she's just reflecting their wording, using their own turn of phrase against them. Here for it. Let's go, Susie Wolf. I feel now more than ever it is, imp it is important to stand up, call out improper behaviour and make sure people are held to account. While some may think silence absolves them from responsibility, it does not. I mean, come on, Susie Wolf. Let's go. The timing of the statement as well. Almost to the second that the FIA make that statement exonerating their head one Mohammed Ben Sulaim. Do you know what I mean? I mean, needed Susie Wolf. And I'm here for it. I'm reading that and I'm like, quite deliberate jibes. The terminology, the turns of phrase, the phrasing that she's using, the words, the syntax, it's mirroring that of the FIA statement. There are parallels there and deliberately so. Hold them to account, Susie. It's time. It's, it's gone past time. I'm out here whispering at quarter to one in the morning. Like it's something that I feel really passionately about this. You can't have a regulatory body. Not of F1. Of some rink, rinky dinky formula maybe. But you can't have the regulatory body of F1 not holding people to account. It's a contradiction in terms. It's moronic oxymoronic indeed just can't be done but i digress i've had enough i'm gonna to go to bed thank you so much for watching listening my diatribe on all things f1 we'll be back same time same place tomorrow of course with more f1 diatribes and slander of course welcome it. i'm here for it have a good night between now and then the prosecution rests no further questions your honor Let's go, Susie Wolf.